Hey everybody, it's Jen Sheffer, and in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the video feature in the Nearpod add-on for Google Slides. This is an excellent way to introduce a new topic to your students and also embed questions so that watching a video becomes an interactive experience for the student, and it also allows you to gather some meaningful formative assessment data. So what you'll do is we're here in Google Slides and I have an introduction to the world of marketing slide presentation. So I wanna start this whole unit with a video. So I'm gonna to go to add-ons and select Nearpod and then open Nearpod. And the video I'm selecting is ideal because it's short. It's also filled with important information that will help students gain an understanding of the topic in a foundational way. So I'm going to click on video and that is really a recommended best practice to start with short, quick, engaging videos. So this comes from YouTube. I have already copied the link so I'm just going to go ahead and paste it and here it is. Now I'm going to click save. Now what's great is if I need to trim the video, I can do so right here on the right hand side so I could edit the length if necessary. But again, this is only two and a half minutes and it's really filled with great information for my students. I did not make it myself, it came from uh, YouTube, um, but it's excellent for the purpose of this lesson. It's a great way to get students interested in the topic. So when I click on add activity at uh, whichever, uh, point in the video I need a question to appear, I have the option of adding either an open-ended question or a multiple choice question. So I already know that about 33 seconds into this video, I want it to stop and I want to ask my students a question. So I'm gonna go ahead and click open-ended and I just wanna make sure that the students are watching it. Um, and are understanding what they're learning so far. So I want to say name at least three functions of marketing besides sales. I click save and the question is going to appear at 33 seconds. You'll notice I also have the edit button there. Then I can continue on at a minute and 17 seconds. I know I want to ask a second question. I'm going to ask my students to tell me why do you think companies spend so much time examining the everyday lives of their customers. So I can really get some interesting feedback and figure out how critically are my students thinking about this, especially if this is a brand new topic. So there's a minute and 17, and then I can just continue on. At a minute and 28, I do have to drag this to get it to where I want it to go. Um, or maybe at a minute 30, I can add, name at least two companies known for creative marketing. The video lists four, but I'm gonna ask them for two, and then I can continue on. But you can see how easy it is to add some questions throughout this video. When I'm done, I'm going to click Save, and that is going to be added, as you can see here on the left-hand side, as its own separate slide. Now, as I mentioned, I want this to be in the very beginning of my lesson, so I'm going to drag it make sure that this is the first thing that my students will see. And I can't share this Google slide presentation as is with my students and have it become interactive. It's important to note, I have to click on save and go to Nearpod. Now I can continue to add additional types of content before I do that. I can add um, quizzes, polls, I can add a simulation if it was uh, connected to my topic, maybe it was math or science. Um, I have a memory test, I have matching pairs, I have fill in the blanks. Um, so you can see here that the difference is as you're exploring the difference between Pear Deck and 
uh, Nearpod are, are those activities and some of the content that's available. There's quite a few similarities, but in terms of you know content, for example, if you wanted to ha have a quiz at the end that was auto-graded for you, um, that is a huge benefit. It's a huge time saver to you as a teacher Time is one of your most precious commodities these days, so um, in all days really, but a quiz that auto grades is an excellent feature of Nearpod. So what you'll do is you'll just click on save and go to Nearpod. It puts it right in your library and now it is ready for you to um, save for another time. Maybe this is something that you're working on and you wanna add some additional content at another point in time, but now it's going to be in your Nearpod library. And if it's ready to go, you can assign it to your students, either in a live mode or in that student paste mode. Um, and again, if you needed to edit it, you would just click on edit, go through it. If you wanna preview it as a student, you can do that by tapping on the preview button. And then from here, if we tap, just wanna mention another uh, time here that you can add that right into the district library that we have here in Burlington now that we are in Nearpod Premium District. But I just wanted to go in greater detail in terms of how you would add a video to a Nearpod lesson from the Google Slide add-on. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions at all about Nearpod or any other EdTech tools, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thanks so much for watching.